everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And this video is actually a video on my natural brow routine. This is like my third brow routine video, to be honest, but this is an update and I'm only using one brow product. Now I will be using some concealer, of course, you know, per the use, but as far as the brow product, I'm gonna be using one brow product, okay? I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I just wanted to tell you guys what I do and I wanted to go step by step and I just wanted to take my time. You know, I didn't want to rush through it with the voiceover. So I hope you guys appreciate that. So these are my natural brows, girl. Now I do get my brows waxed and I've come to the conclusion that I prefer to do it like every two to three months or whenever I feel the need to go because I used to go every two weeks for a long time. And as I would do that, I noticed that my brows got thinner and thinner and thinner. So in between my visits, and you can see that I just plucked them because I'm all red, girl. And then I have a little situation right there. I was using a wipe to remove my makeup. Y'all know I don't really do that. And yeah. But anyway, so I've been using these lacrosse tweezers ever since like 2003. I just dropped it. I don't even remember where I got them from. I think they're like stainless steel or something. These babies are sturdy. They are my babies. I keep them in my makeup bag and I've been using them for years and they still look like brand new. I'm going to try to talk through. I don't want it to be too long, but I don't want to rush through it. I want to take my time, but I'm just going to take this spoolie off of this LA Girl Shady Slim stick. And I like this too, but we're not using that today. As a matter of fact, I will have a video coming soon of my top brow products because there are a few that I love, but I've just been stuck on this one for the last like month, I think going on two months. Remember, like just pray for me right now because eyebrow days or good eyebrow days may vary, okay? Like I should put a disclaimer or something. And then I go into the spatula because I also use this product on other people. So I make sure that I don't dip inside of it. And it is not really like a pomade, but it is like, kind of like a pudding or pudding. It's kind of like a jello pudding. No, I'm just kidding. But it is kind of like a gel actually, like a, I don't know, like a hair gel. Like you see how smooth it is and it just, it just moves around. Like it's not really thick. So you do have to be careful. And I, I, I'm kind of mad that I just wasted that, but anything for y'all, anything for y'all. So if you use it straight out of the jar, then you have to be very careful or you can choose to let it dry to where it gets a little stiff and then you could put it on, but ain't nobody got time for waiting. So I just go right in. So pray for me, you guys, cause I'm usually all up in my mirror, but since I'm like doing this, you know, in front of you guys and you guys are visiting, um, I'm trying not to be as close and I do it with a light hand. And then I just follow my brow. Then I just follow that. And one thing that I like about this gel is that you can make it as thick as you want or you can make it as light as you want. And so I kind of go in between. Okay, I gotta stop talking. And then I like that little arch right there. And then I bring it down. I like to give myself more of an arch than I really have because I just like that. And sometimes I get carried away because I'm walking around like, hmm, and I'm not trying to do that. But um, just, you know, you got to do what you like. Now, I don't put any more product on this brush. I simply take the brush and then I just go through the brow. And this is why I like this product because it is so like you can move it around very easy. It doesn't get all hard right away. And then I just kind of go in like that. And then it kind of fades it already for me. You know what I mean? Y'all, this is raw. So if we make mistakes, you gonna see everything. I love the way it blends. I think this is why I love it so much. Y'all see that? So after I do that, I pretty much wipe off any excess oil because this is when I go in with my eyeshadow primer and prime my lids to get it ready for shadow or even if I'm not wearing shadow. This is just to keep the oils at bay, girl, because I do get a little oily on my lids. This is in the shade Fawn. Hope you guys can see. And I just go underneath the brow to sculpt it. And some people just do it right there, but I like to do the whole brow. Just a personal preference.
Oh, I think this is the Mac 212, but I can't remember because it's not on there anymore. Then I take this and I try not to wait too long, blend this out because it will get stiff and it'll be a little harder to blend. I feel like the brows take me the longest to get right because it sculpts the face and I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I just have to perfect it. So the next thing I've been using is the It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Now this is a little on the neutral side. This is in the shade Deep and I like it though because it's really thick and um, even though it's neutral, I feel like I can blend it out. It may look a little ashy, but once I put my foundation on, I'm fine. So here's what it looks like right here. Now I've used a lot of different products and I probably will change again, but this is pretty good for this. I kind of like dip around in it and then kind of like take some off just so I don't start off with, oops, see what I'm saying? So I don't start off with too much. And this is the Morphe M165 brush. I used to use this e.l.f. palette right here and I used to use this color, but I think that it is getting like older. And so it was getting, it was just doing something weird. So I stopped using it and I went to this. I just need another palette. Okay. So then I go on top. It's at this point that I'm usually up all up in that mirror. And I just follow what I did. And then I turn the brush on the flat side and just blend. And I don't do a lot, but you see the little ash, but it'll be fine. And I kind of square it out, but we fix it. Now the idea is to kind of have it lined up with the bridge of your nose. And that is what I go by. And sometimes I put it over too far and I have to fix it. Splint this out with your finger. Now this is why you guys think it looks a little discolored when I start my videos because I do my brows first. This is my next step. I don't like for them to fade out tremendously and then blend into the um, brow because I feel like it's not really natural. So I just take my finger and I kind of blend away that harsh square and blend it into the brow. That's just what I like to do. And I do the same over here to kind of take off those pointy corners. And then I take this e.l.f. brush, which I really like the spoolie on here, but it is 203, that's the number. And that's when I just kind of brush the product in with my brow so that it looks natural. Now, if I wear a red unit, I will mix a little bit of burgundy um, brow product, like from MAC, the MAC Strut. I will put a little bit on here so that it goes with my red hair. Now, remember though, brows are sisters, not twins. I know sometimes people get offended when I say that, but here's the thing. No one side of your body is the same, okay? Your feet aren't exactly the same size. I don't know if y'all know that. Your lips may not be the same size. Your eyes, it may be a little bit different. Nothing is exactly the same. So that's why people say sisters, not twins, okay? So if it's not absolutely perfect, it's okay because we're not perfect. That's what they mean by that. This is when I take my Dolce de Leche concealer and I just place it on the top. So then after I do that concealer, I just take a powder. This is the Lancome Dual Matte Powder or Dual Pressed, something like that. I'll put the link in the description box. And then I just set that concealer. It smells so good though. Jermaine Dupri, so, so good. But these are the brows. The brows, the brows, the brows. No, I'm just kidding. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. If you like simple tips and tricks or simple videos like this, let me know in the comment section and I will be sure to do more, okay? And if you are interested in that brow product video, then give it a thumbs up. So you guys have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Sticky beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Sticky beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we, we ain't playing, playing games. games. It's the Sticky beauty. Yeah, Sticky beauty. Yeah.